You spend most You're of your going time. somewhere. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you sp- you spend most of your time in the movie with Buddy Hackett. Yes, I know, and what a what a tremendous gentleman, and and a, and a great comic. Now, what was that like? Because you know, f- those of us who loved Buddy, you know, was there anything that didn't make the screen because it wasn't appropriate? <laughs> Well, I think that anything you could say about Buddy Hackett would be appropriate. <laughs> uh, and, and John, are you up? Okay. Uh, are you awake, John? <laughs> where are we? Where are we? Oh, where are we? John, you're, this you're was the time's up. <laughs> this was your first movie. This was my first movie, almost my last. <laughs> 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 Not because of the movie and the cast, because because of me, I guess. No, I I wanted to work with Stanley. People are probably wondering, I hope they are, some of them, maybe four, why, why I have this cowboy hat. That's yeah, why, why have you got that I'll be cowboy right with hat. you. This is, why Dean, this is why Dean left Jerry. <laughs> yeah. uh, no offense. No offense. No, at any rate, I'm, I'm used to living alone. Um, Stanley asked me, I, of course he was kidding, I didn't know that. Uh, he said, I'd like to have you for high noon. <laughs> and I said, my God, what a part. <laughs> you can beat the life out of uh, Lloyd Bridges in a, you know, hey now, and you, you can, can you ride? And I said, not well, but I can, I can ride. I'd rather not. Uh, well, you can go out of town with uh, Grace Kelly and a sulky. So I said, God. <laughs> and by the way, you b- pick up a million to could be on the picture about three months. And I said, geez, I sure like the million too. Um, can you shoot? Mm-hmm. Straight. I was in the Marines and I, I which I was. <laughs> I don't get about that. Um, my parents didn't know. I, they thought I'd run away for the night. <laughs> <laughs> I was gone three years. So at any rate, um, I said I qualified expert with pistol. So he said, well, this is a, a 40, 45, but this is not a, a you know, anyway. So I said, I, I'll call, I, I, I can shoot. So then I said, you know, when he puts that watch, because it's called high noon, he puts that watch in his pocket or he picks it out and looks at it. I don't want a fake. I want a Patty Philippe. <laughs> or, or a Rolex. And he said, Hey, they're not even going to see that. I'm going to see it. <laughs> so consequently, Gary Cooper got the part. He didn't get a Rolex. But it <laughs> Jonathan Winters, who I consider a force of nature. Mm-hmm. Jonathan Winters. Johnny, he did... Uh, by the way, before I ever interviewed Mel Brooks, on the set of, uh, of the sh- show... I, audition, I, uh, I uh, interviewed him all the time, and he just never stopped being funny and making people laugh. But what intrigued me about this man is he sat quietly all day long while everything was going on, and he had a knife in his hand, and he started with a block of wood, a square block of wood about three inches by three inches, and he whittled. He kept whittling and whittling, and we don't know what he's, what are you whittling? He wouldn't say what he was whittling. He just kept whittling very quietly. When, no, when nobody was around, he was still whittling. By the end of the, he had whittled, and this, very few people can do this, maybe a chicken can. <laughs> but he whittled a perfect egg, a beautiful egg out of this hard block of wood. Johnny, do you still have that egg? I've laid so many since then. <laughs> <laughs> Mine are not wooden anymore. <laughs> <laughs> 